Um, my name is Kathy Burke, glass artist, and I never thought that designing a lamp would evolve into such a passion for me. I have an extensive fine art background, including a BFA in interior design. While practicing commercially, I never found lighting that enhanced the interior, so I designed a floor lamp. I went to the local stained glass store to learn how to make the shade and was immediately enchanted by the many colors and textures that glass comes in. This discovery was the beginning of my career as a glass artist. Currently, I participate in the Inspired by Yellowstone Visiting Artists series, where I share my knowledge of fusing art and its similarities with geology of the park. My thermal puddle bowls that are inspired by the vibrant colors and minerals found in Yellowstone. I play with reactions between sulfur bearing and copper bearing glass adding silver and getting wonderful reactions that mim mimic the calcifications and color changes that occur in the pools. I love Bozeman, Montana because of within a few minutes, you can step into the natural world, an escape, a place where time is suspended and senses are heightened. Bold contrasts of color, amazing depth and motion are present. Everywhere there is light, and it's always changing. It reveals and then shrouds this new intriguing realm. Um, and my goal is to capture these features in Kim Form Glass artwork. Now, I found the Emerson Center for the Arts and Culture in 2009, shortly after I moved here. I became a member of the Artist Gallery Co-op and began showing my mosaics and lighting. During my first year, I purchased a kiln and began began making samples for the next lampshade. I actually turned those samples into dishes and bowls and was able to sell my designs with wonderful support from our local Bozeman community. During my five years in the artist gallery, I have made several friends and pri priceless connections to the art business of Montana. With much gratitude, every year I make a don donation to the Celebration of Arts fundraiser. This year's, or excuse me, last year's entry was a piece called Blue Rapids. Blue Rapids is a slumped kiln form glass bowl. The bright blue represents the reflection from the clear Montana sky. The sections are handmade glass blocks and hand cut sheet glass fused together to represent motion and movement of the rapid river. It is one of the first vessel designs utilizing my signature glass, handmade glass, and it, it was also shown as a glass sample for my Rapid Thoughts blue chandelier, which is installed locally in Bozeman, Montana. I'm very honored to have Blue Rapids purchased and placed in the Armory's presidential suite. Very excited to be a part of such a large collection of Montana, wonderful Montana artists. My success has been with Yellowstone National Park and beginnings are with the Emerson Center for the Arts and Culture. So to have my larger fused glass bowl designs in at Noticed at Home and in Bozeman is very satisfying and seems to be very fitting. I have hopes that it will create a pause for guests of the Armory, generate a memory from their visit to Bozeman, Montana, Maybe it was an escape into nature. I'm also very excited to be involved or invited to this virtual quick draw. It's really the only way I can share my processes with you. With video, I can condense and record the steps, which can take up to four to five days in my studio for such a large platter. So let me begin by telling you, okay, the Earth's crust contains fractures and fissures created by molten lava, and they surround us all over in Bozeman and in Yellowstone. Similar to glass fusing, fractures are created while heating and cooling layers of glass. Now, generally, I finesse my processes to prevent fractures from occurring. But with this new series that I'm creating here, um, it's called Fractured. And I experiment, I'm experimenting with fusing thick slabs of glass comprised of my signature glass and several layers of sheet glass. 
With this series, I am pushing fusing limits and finding new heating schedules. This sometimes creates large fractured pieces. They either break while being heated up too fast or cooling down too fast. The large pieces are either broken further and strategically assembled or gaps are filled and then I fuse the design again. This process creates depth and surface texture while adding layers of color and shimmer with each fuse. When satisfied with the design, I slump the glass into a large mold to achieve its final form. My donation to the Emerson is titled Undertow. It is 18 inches in diameter by, by one and a half inches high. It is a glass platter. Please bid online at the auction site. Thank you so much. And if you want more information about me and my artwork, go to the auction site. Thanks.